Trump trade continued in November. What does that mean? Well, investors priced in a pro-business outcome in the US, a stronger US dollar, and less rate cuts due to potentially higher inflation. That saw US equity markets surge again. Developed markets outperformed emerging markets as a higher US dollar and likely higher US tariffs are likely to weigh on countries such as China. Interestingly, the US market is seeing a broadening of returns outside the Magnuson 7, which is a healthy development, while solid US third quarter results added further cheer to an already buoyant market. In addition, the US Federal Reserve cut rates at a time when the US economic data remains sound. However, ongoing robust economic data and expectations that Trump-related policies may see inflation sticky pushed out expectations for the next rate cut by the Federal Reserve as well as the depth of the cutting cycle. The Australian share market also rose, gaining 3.8% outperforming Asian and European equity markets, but underperforming the US S&P 500, which gained 5.9% in local currency terms. In Australia, industrial sectors drove the market higher. IT, utilities and financials gained strongly, while materials and energy struggled. The Reserve Bank of Australia held the cash rate steady at 4.35%, but investors pushed out their forecast for a rate cut uh, in Australia to May 2025. Following another solid labour market print, higher trimmed mean inflation data, and some hawkish commentary in the RBA minutes. You may have seen that we recently published our 2025 market outlook. We conclude that economic growth is likely to remain divergent in different sectors of the globe, Equities are broadly trading on high valuation multiples such as price to earnings ratios versus long term averages and in aggregate the outlook for near term earnings and dividend growth remains weak. This does not seem consistent with the current level of market optimism and as such we feel that capital returns over the next one to three years are likely to be more muted than those enjoyed in the last 12 months, which to be frank have been fantastic. We believe the outlook for fixed income returns looks reasonable as yields are at more sustainable levels and provide a degree of income support and diversification for those wishing to moderate portfolio volatility. We wish everyone a very merry festive season and a safe new year. I'll be back again next month with the December monthly review.